just her sense of humor has been awesome, despite the craziness that's gone on. Ozzy Moss is my mother's resilience. She can take an absolute, like, I mean, for instance, you can get hit by a car, and she can absolutely just bounce back, and, and you know, and she still has the sense of humor she had. And... Yes, but my mom, she's been holding in. She's, uh, she's tough. Yeah. I, I do think that it has made us all realize how quickly things can change. Well, I mean, well, for me, the best mom that you could ever have. I mean, she she's the best cook. She uh, she um, she's tough for surviving this and trying her best to get back on her feet. She's always an energy when she walks into the room. She's you know, magnetic. People are drawn to her. She's fun. It also makes you realize pretty quick how much it is that mom does. You know, when all of a sudden mom's not here, you take for granted when stuff just happens. <laughs> he's, he's definitely a culinary artist. I cook great. <laughs> I can order pizza. Pancake? Yeah. That's his other strength. That is one strength. <laughs> make pancakes. Yeah, that, that was the one thing he used to be able to make previous to the accident that we did like every Saturday. And uh, it was, you know, he, he makes. He makes pancakes, that's what he does, but... Yeah, he, uh, basically he, he's gonna make pancakes and, uh, toast. Lots of toast. So first thing first, tell me about your dad's pancakes. That good, huh? not had his pancakes. He owes me pancakes. Mr. Pancake. Uh, yeah, I want pancakes, dude. <laughs> I don't do food. I do breakfast, which I don't consider to be real food. Everyone's been bringing nice meals and stuff, so... It's kind of been uh, saving our our taste buds. And most of the stuff he ends up baking is not exactly what we call edible. It's, it's half the time it's burnt to a crisp. Is your dad a good cook? <laughs> no. I don't cook, and and it would be an insult, I think, to the kids and to my wife if I attempted to actually <laughs> cook. There's some pretty tough competition in this house with with Melanie being here. I'm really good at couponing. I, I have ways of helping other people, and you know, through the food bank um, by donating uh, things I get for free with coupons to the food bank. That's one way of helping. And then for the longest time, I was doing care packages to the troops. Uh, last Christmas, I sent um, I don't remember how many cases, but it was like 60 something cases of um, health and beauty products like shampoo, deodorant, soap. With the help of the local elementary school, I spearheaded a campaign with them to send these things over to the troops. One unit sent, a platoon sent a picture of them on their Humvee holding the razors that I shipped to them. And it was like 30 or 40 guys holding their razors. That was like probably the very best feedback I've ever gotten. I just was so excited to get that picture. That was pretty cool. Right, I let people go shopping in my basement when I can, when they hit hard times. I've had a couple friends go through some tragedies, and it's been nice to have them come and take what they need when they need it. So, you know, it's a blessing that way. She really makes the best of it and, you know, and does what she can to, to make it upbeat, positive.